Hi. I think I'm live now. Um, that was that was interesting. Um, so I'm glad I now know what happens when when I'm in that um, thumbnail screen. So <laughs> when you go live, it has you take a little like thumbnail picture and I struggle with those so much, you know, cause I should get on it and make my thumbnails and upload them as soon as this is done, but I don't always. And so I am always taking these goofy pictures right before I stream. Only um, the me six bot tells you guys that I've started a video prior to me actually hitting go live. So I didn't, I didn't quite know exactly how uh, that was received on your end. And now I do. So thanks. Thanks Joker. <laughs> Uh, cool. Not here. Nope. Just picks. Just picks. I hope you didn't see all those picks because they're terrible. Some of them were really bad. Oh my God. Hey, hey, pretty Maddie. Hi, meow, meow. Oh, there you are. Hey guys. Oreos for everyone from Day of Auntie. Yay. I'm so glad you guys are here. I'm trying a little bit of a new setup. We got the new flooring installed. So I've got things sort of rearranged a little differently and I'm, I'm in a corner. <laughs> so uh, we'll see how I feel about that. But um, I thought it'd be fun uh, to try something different and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to see how like painting like from this angle is going to feel and look for you guys. So we'll see. Um, this was last time's painting. You guys remember inspired by, um, not just Magic Within, but a little bit Captain Steve, because we featured a Stevie in the painting. So that's the other thing I'm adjusting here, there. So it's a little bit of an angle for you guys, but maybe do that. We're, you know, we're still going to work on like upgrading all of this at some point, but for now, Still just my laptop. Um, so beautiful. I love that little Stevie guy. Look at him. You know, I was looking at him after having painted it, and I thought, you know what? It kind of looks like a little Danny DeVito. Like if Danny DeVito were an alien. I think that would be him. He looks like that. Um, what's going on? Hi, Michael Stapp. Hello, I'm well today. Thank you, Michael. Mad painting herself into a corner. <laughs> yep, yep, that's that's real. Um, so actually, um, Dave Bonte, I was kind of thinking, because right behind me is my closet doors, and I sort of thought how fun it would be to do one of these No Man's Sky paintings fully on my closet doors. Um, though that would take a lot longer than two hours, so I'm not totally sure if I would do that live or maybe like a content video or something. Hey, hey, I'm okay. How are you going? Well, Michael, good. I'm glad everyone's doing well. What is that Joker? A mad, oh, mad fish. <laughs> Unlike I, one I've ever seen before. That fish is caught, caught on a rod. So I don't know about that. Um, anywho guys, so ba -ba bum. Fresh canvas. Boop. And today's painting is inspired by Galarak. Uh, Galarak made some funny jokes. Well, really, it's inspired by Dimash being a big doofus and uh, <laughs> uh, mislabeling one of his streams. Uh, he had just done the Iron Man VR preview. And then it's his title didn't change over for his next NMS stream. So we've got a no Iron Man's Sky themed painting today. <laughs> so I can't wait. Looking forward to it. Yep. Mad Fishers. Oh, I get it. Mad Fishers. That's you guys. <laughs> Just do the door in segments. There you go. I could do that. Do it in segments. Like make it look like the entrance to the Nexus or something. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so time to be inspired for that. Um, yeah. So this painting, I'm going to do portrait orientation and our nebula. I, so I don't have like a 
inspiration photo. I, my art student yesterday, she uh, forgot yesterday was yesterday. And so I did my art student's lesson right before this. So a little loosey goosey kind of flying by the seat of my pants today. Um, so there was though, I think it was in my NMS screenshots. Ooh, Beeble Bums, Pink Planet. First time seeing that. Oof, oof, that is cool. Uh, there, ooh, okay. So um, this is not exactly what I want to do. I might use it for a little bit of reference. But um, Magic Within had submitted this one. And so I'm going to use this as a little bit of inspo but I'm probably gonna mess with the nebula a little bit. And the one I'm thinking of was something I did. I think I might be thinking of a screenshot I recently took. Did I send it to myself? I don't know. No, I don't think I did yet. So um, last time we did a cool technique. We're using a business card um, to make some texture on our background. And uh, since that time, I have come into some really cool bits of cardboard. And so I was thinking about using some cardboard today. but I want it to have like a rough edge. I don't want like this nice clean cardboard edge. I want something a little bit more. I'm actually gonna use this side, I think. Something that's sort of not factory finished. So I'm gonna try to work with that. Take these wings off. Yeah, I'm sort of combining a bunch of different little ideas and photos that I've seen recently. Screen caps. Maddie, I have carpet cleaning people here today, so maybe in and out a little. That's all right. Oh, getting your carpet clean. That's fun. That's what I was going going for, my meow. I read your mind, Joker. Yeah, Mad Fishers. Cool. Yeah. Thank you for the Discord link there, Joker. You awesome. You know it, but you know, I gotta say it too. So yeah, we're going to get this canvas on uh, nice and prepped for blending, 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 our favorite thing. Cause this nebula, it's gonna be super fun. Um, we're do, we are gonna do kind of a space battle scene. And since most of the like, but, you know, fighters that come and help you when you're being attacked by pirates um, have the green jet exhaust. Sorry, I shouldn't lean on the table. Makes you all wobbly. Probably makes you sick. Dave Monty, so instead of scratch and sniff, you'll have look and touch pictures. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, I can look and touch these. <laughs> What do you mean, Diamante? Dude, I love those scratch and sniff stickers. Those are great. Now, once again, um, I'm using water to lube up my canvas, but in a proper art scenario, you would use gesso. So if you have some of that, you can use that instead. Um, and I still haven't gotten around to figuring out how to do a D D DIY gesso. Oh, I just got water in my mouse and then I made my screen do weird things. Uh, yeah, I think I fixed it. Let's get you away from the water. So, 
that's all looped up and I want to use some pretty, I'm gonna do some stuff with white and we're gonna do some stuff with blue, maybe some purple and maybe, pardon me. <coughs> Probably some red if I can find it. And I like this turquoise. So I am using a plate today for my palette. And I've got some cardboard. You got a cup of water and a paper towel and your colors and your brushes and you're good to go. So, we'll start with a little bit of white spots. Oh, it's mixing. I'm getting some blue in there, that's cool. Uh, so I'm just gonna put a little, this white I have is really runny. Oop, and it really did mix with some, some blue on there on accident. So I'm just gonna slosh on some white, light blue in sort of various places on the canvas. And I'm not really minding too much the direction of the brush strokes or anything. because I'm gonna come back through with a darker blue and fill in the canvas. And as we go over those spots, that darker blue is gonna blend and have different gradations of color all the way through. And I'm not worrying too much about the um, any of the brush strokes matching right now, as you can see. Okay, so we got quite a bit of blue. I'm gonna pick up some of that runny, runny white again. I'm gonna bring it back in in a very nebulous fashion. <laughs> Dave Auntie, was a joke about texture? We, we the cardboard. <laughs> uh, I, I make bad jokes, no one understands, sorry. No, Dave Auntie, don't worry. Um, I'm just sort of like, um, Sometimes I take things too literally, and so I don't always get people's sense of humor, and so it's not even you, it's totally me. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, don't worry about it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take some of this runny, runny white, and I'm gonna go back in and do some of that just messy, messy, um, almost, well, I mean, uh, nebulous, so it kind of has tendrils, right? Tendrils that reach out and, um, you know, that darker blue can come back in a little bit. Maybe it peaks in. There's gonna be a lot of action going on in this and there's a battle raging. And so I also want the background to have kind of this frenetic energy. And so that's why I'm doing the background this way today. 
because it just I want it to feel like everything is in motion. And you don't know which way is up because that's oftentimes how a space battle feels, right? Hi, Margaret. Welcome to my painting street. So who's excited about the new update? Seems kind of cool so far. Especially for VR, they get to see their bodies and stuff. So on the corners, I'm going to do a little bit of dark, darker purple just to kind of give the edges some, almost that vignette feel. So I mix a little bit of purple with the blue that's already on the canvas and a tiny bit of black and we're going to see how that turns out. just to pepper in and blend in from the corners. Super subtle effect. But it just helps bring the focus in. All right, that was a little more black even. Get some of that purple back in there. Mm -hmm. Hmm, I don't like how that looks. So. I don't really have any good paper towels around today, guys. You should have one, but I don't. Uh, I'm just going to use my hand, wipe the excess paint off. I'm gonna do something different up there. That's why we have our cardboard. So with the cardboard, I'm gonna take white and blue and maybe this turquoise, just to make it a little stand out from the background. And I'm just gonna even kinda, this, this paint is super old and really thick, so I'm just gonna take some and smear it on my cardboard. Okay, and then, Then I'm also gonna take some white and I'm just going to, this is really runny white guys. So I'm just gonna um, take a little bit of it and unevenly dab my cardboard into it. So it's not covering the whole thing. And then we're gonna make some close up planet rings. We're not even gonna see the planet, we're just gonna see the rings off on the corner here. Hmm. So that turquoise isn't showing up as much as I had wanted it to. Okay. 
There we go. A little bit better. Okay, that's cool. Oh, that's neat. I will be when I get to play with G and G, U, Dimash, Beeble Bum, and APG. Awesome. Yeah, right? That'll be super great. Very excited, Joker's very excited. I know you are. <laughs> and uh, I see a blue dragon head in the painting. Ooh, you see a blue dragon head? Like here? Is it, is it that? I like it. I like that. I mean, I feel like, you know, people like in No Man's Sky, like the, the little people, wouldn't they do the same thing with nebulas that we do with clouds where we're like, ah, oh, that looks like a, like a train. They don't really have trains. So. That looks like a mech. <laughs> well, cool. So that turned out okay. Not precisely how I wanted it. So I'm just going to try again with this turquoise because I really, really like it. Come on, you stinking turquoise. I guess what kind of happened was it, it ran out of pigment as we scraped along. So let's see if this works better. You know, I think it's too thick. That's what's happening. Maybe I can make it thinner. So I could also just give up and not worry about the turquoise. But let's see what we can do. Ooh. Okay, let, let's see. I have it uh, on the plate with all the runny, runny white. And so I'm just going to give it a little mixy mix here and see what happens. Ooh, <laughs> that's gross. <sighs> oh my God, this paint might be <laughs> not, not usable. <laughs> Smurf boogers. That's, well, yeah. I mean, I think that's what we got here day Monty. Oh dear. I don't think there's any hope for this paint. It is not mixing. It's just breaking apart. Ooh. It's reminding me of some kind of like sea sponge, like a little anemone. You know, those anemones that you poke them and they go. Pshh. Yeah. That's what this is. It's a dead one of those. Ooh. Okay, we're getting a color. We're getting we're getting a color out of this. Slow mixing. It's more like mooshing than, than mixing. Mooshing. That's thick. It is thick. It's unhealthy. Probably needs to drink more water. I just want you to go with my paint. I might have to give up on this stupid, stupid turquoise. Uh, that's all right. I could make turquoise. There's lots of solutions to this issue. Ish you, am I right? You. And so we'll see. Let's see. Oh, 
Okay, I'm getting something out of this that might be usable. All right, maybe. Ugh, I'm so afraid this is gonna come to life and attack me. <laughs> All right, um, I'm gonna use a little bit of fresh cardboard here. Some fresh cardboard. And I'm trying to sort of expose the, um, what do they call that? The, rib, the ridges, the little ruffles in there. That was why I wanted to use the cardboard because I thought, ooh, those are gonna have a cool ringed effect. But maybe I'm wrong and that's okay. Okay, I think this is gonna be cool. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Yes? Yeah, I'm streaming. It's okay. I was just checking for you. I'm here. I was just checking to see how. Is he going to fish the boy from the same thing? So he's going to come back in two Mondays. Oh, that's very nice. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. Cool. Yeah. Um, and they're going to have to pull up not the whole floor in there, but just that part. Mm -hmm. All right. I was just wondering. Yeah. So I think it's turning out okay. This, this is all right. It's okay. We can also... Ditch, you know, the cardboard has served us as far as like getting us our basic fun shape in there and like up close, you can kind of see there are some striations of um, different colors, um, which I do like. I just think the, you know, the edge has gotten a bit sloppy and we can go back through mm -hmm. and do some dry brushing uh, with some, maybe some white and a wiry brush and it'll, it'll fix itself right up. Like nice wiry brush like this. So if I take that with a little white on it and then use your paper towel or whatever to kind of dab out any excess paint, then we can literally just dry brush along the sky now that we have. And like, depending on how confident you are, you can freehand this or use something as a stencil if you want to. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty, I like it. So, I want to let this dry a little bit before we continue on. And I've been debating what kind of freighter is going to be easiest for me to do a silhouette of. Oreos for Dimash. It looks like based, not water, <laughs> oil-based. Yeah, you know, it's, um. well, one, it's super old. This was... Uh, given to me after a friend's grandmother passed. And so it was from her grandmother's collection. Who knows when the last time she painted was. It is acrylic, but it's heavy body is what it's called. And so it's definitely way thicker than a normal acrylic. And I do think it also doesn't dry as quickly, which is the beauty of working with oils. Oils do not dry super fast. And so that's part of the technique in working with them. I have very little experience in using oil paint at all. Um, I've thought about doing it, just like following along on a Bob Ross tutorial or something. 
um, cause it's an interesting thing, but there's like all that chemical, you know, you need to have your, your bucket to do the, you know, uh, beat, beat the devil out of it kind of thing. Um, and it intimidates me. I'm a little intimidated by the extra, the extra stuff involved with oil. Hello, my darling. You look lovely today. Work is hectic. Got you on, but can't watch. Well, yeah, I hope it goes smoothly and quickly. Sometimes being busy is good because it makes the work day fly by. Um, so, yeah, fun, fun, fun. Um, our background looks pretty cool. And, yeah, freighter. I'm going to do a uh, freighter silhouette. You know, and that's something else I'm just now thinking of, of uh, having a uh, sun, those, like, suns that you can't fly into that are in each um, world. So let me grab a little white. While this is still not totally dry, will be, be a good time to do this, I think. This is my last good white. I'm actually getting some fresh paint today. I got an inside hookup at the local craft store, and she is bringing me some white and some blue and some yellow. Unfortunately, still no red, um, which this is all the red I have left. <laughs> so we'll get there, but soon won't be so frugal about our white. And um, so what I'm thinking is we got to get that sun. So if, if we're going to have things that are silhouetted, we definitely want a light source from behind. So um, we'll just stick it right, right schmear. And I'm not going to worry so much about this being a perfect circle because the light flare flaring out kind of does a little almond shape anyway. So And then it's got out from the sides. Oh, it's totally not level. <laughs> it's more like a comet now. Oh, God. I guess that's okay, right? Like the sun, we don't know which way's up, down, where the horizon is. We're in space, doesn't matter, right? <laughs> but that's the dragon's beard, right here. Oh, so that's his head, right? And then this is his beard? Well, he's got beard jewelry, okay, Dave Auntie? <laughs> uh, great. So earlier in the chat, you guys, Joker did drop my Discord link. Um, there is an NMS screenshots tab in there uh, that you are welcome to post pictures on anytime, all the time. I do often use that as my first go-to for looking for inspiration for future paintings. So, you know, if you love taking screenshots and you want to share them, I'll at the very least deeply appreciate them. So um, check that out. It's a white pulsar. Yes, beard jazzle. <laughs> um, dude, hey, I mean, for all we know, maybe um, our universe is just a jewel in a dragon's beard. 
and there's a bunch of dragons flying around with jewel beards, and it's all the different dimensions. And God is a dragon. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just yes anding. I will yes and all day long, and it often will lead to ridiculous statements. So forgive. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's fun and sparkly. Um, I'll show you guys a technique for yeah, I'll do it. Um, it's debating how easy my new floor is to clean. It's actually very easy to clean. So, uh, So, a great way to make stars is to take, I'm going to use a wiry brush with thick bristles, and then another brush, just the stem. You're going to take one stick close to the canvas and the other one and go, I need more paint. And you want it to be fairly runny for this to be successful. Oh, this, this brush really is holding on to the paint. So maybe let's try a different one. Mm. Try this one. All right, that's enough of that. Um, and as you can see, some of it got really splattery. So there's a balance. If you're ever gonna do that, there's a balance of too runny, not runny enough. And it can be very frustrating and very messy. So maybe not the best technique to use. Um, so that's okay, I'll just use some of that as like, uh, a pro you know, every mistake is an opportunity for redesign, right? So those could be jet streams or laser fire or proton cannon ejections. You know, all of, all of the above. Only females create life, so God is a girl dragon. <laughs> it's a white bolt. Oh, so, well debatable. I mean, you kind of have to have both to make it work. Creation, right? Well, I mean, our understanding of creation is so limited because of these stupid human bodies. Um, because you know, you can put a mogwai in water and boom, gremlins. So, you know, <laughs> who are we to say? <laughs> Yeah, that'll come up. How bad is it? I felt it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right, I think that's it. I don't need more white hair. I've got plenty. <laughs> So today's stream is about, uh, I actually I actually follow this content creator, Chloe Rose Art, and she recently did an episode where she painted her hair. <laughs> I didn't finish the whole thing, but it was definitely not like this, and she wasn't using acrylic, I don't think. Um, <laughs> I'm tempted to like dip my hair in the water. I <laughs> swear I'm not laughing. <laughs> yeah, I know you are. Uh, <laughs> Howdy, man, fish and chat. That was a great part to join the video. <laughs> Hi, Solar Sailor. Welcome to my painting stream. Yeah, great part. <laughs> yeah, it's a whole, it's really just a comedy show. It's not painting. It's just comedy. Here, I'm <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> I dip my hair in the water. <laughs> See if I can get some of it out. Ugh. 
<laughs> Not recommending cleaning acrylic paint out of your hair with acrylic water. <laughs> but it's all I can do. <laughs> dear. Oh, dear. Uh, don't you know, I'll be on Red Dead later murdering a bunch of people. <laughs> um, super fun. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for that. Um, using your fur to use as a paintbrush. <laughs> Natural paintbrush. Exactly. We're going a uh, gluten-free uh, OG paintbrush here. Oh, guys, look, that's real white. This is not paint. This is my, that's my legit life experiences. <laughs> um, anywho, uh, whoa. so painting the hair totally threw me off. <laughs> oh, another thing, Chloe Rose Art. She's great. If you guys have it, if you like art, she's, she's lovely. She has a great accent too. Fun to listen to, um, and fun personality. Um, she also did like, so she got her start from like testing Instagram and Twitter art hacks. So she tests them to see if they're any good at all. And she, she did an episode on like creating your own paintbrush with your own hair. Uh, but it, it, it involved cutting some off. So um, not quite like I did it. Horse hair works better, by the way. I don't doubt it. You're right. Um, I think a lot of brushes, like um, there's a lot more synthetic brushes now and synthetic hair, but Mohair, mohair, and I don't know what beast that comes from, but mohair is used often in watercolor brushes, I believe, really soft ones. Um, and also, well, makeup brushes too, just a different kind of painting, really. Um, great, I'm kind of just letting all this dry, you guys. <laughs> That's really, I'm waiting for, for things to dry, but let's see, so, does anyone have readily available a, a screen cap of your, of a freighter, like one of the uh, Dreadnought freighters? I'm thinking that's going to be the coolest silhouette to do. Um, I could just Google one. Dreadnought. Operator NMS. Haha, yes. Very cool silhouette. Yeah. They even, they just look intimidating. They look, they remind me of the silhouette of one of the aliens from Alien. Wonder if mohair is rabbit. I think it, I think it might be. Yeah. Anywho, yeah, check that out. Don't you think just like, just that front end right there, the head, it totally looks like the aliens from Alien. Um, so there we go. We've got our a Dreadnought silhouette for reference. And we'll we'll do it. We can do we can do a dreadnought real quick. I might even make him <sighs> Where the dreadnought. Dreadnought should be like here. I'm thinking. And the battle's raging down here. I, I mean I'm loving this nebula up here, and this is the dragon head, right, Devonti? And so we want to leave that because it's, it's, you know, sparking part of our imagination there. So, um, when, when doing an object with angles, I like to use a brush that has its own natural angles. So any kind of flat brush that has like this sort of, or like this. So that you can, if you're needing to make a little square edge, you've got a square edge on the actual brush itself. So, um, the process of creating mohair begins with the shearing of an angora goat. Well, at least he doesn't die in the process. I'm all for shearing, even though it's sort of traumatic. It's 
you know, of, of the things you can do to animals is probably one of the least horrible. Don't get me wrong, I'm not vegan or anything. Um, I wish I had the strength to like try something like that. Um, I would probably wind up as a pescatarian anyway because I love fish, but I love cheese too. I love honey. And there's so many things about being vegan that just like are hard. <laughs> But I really understand like the need for like moving away from factory farming. I think that is important. So got, I'm gonna do a silhouette. So I'm just using black. We might go through and put some little little dots of lighting along it. But really all we need is a, is a black silhouette. So that should be ba hair. <laughs> oh gosh. So yeah, this freighter, and they've got some little like pokey spires outside. What do you guys think those are for? Are they antenna or satellite receivers or shield generators maybe? All right. So we start with a basic straight line across the top. And then the back side has a bit of a rise. And that's kind of where the ships enter up there. There's kind of that control tower on the top. So we've got a little Control tower. And on this end, it slopes off and then kind of has a good chunk that goes down, straight down. So we're going to do, all right, this is where I was like, I don't know if this is going to be a good angle for me. All right, a slope. And straight down. And then, so that bottom piece juts out just a tiny bit and then it kind of slopes back up and then comes straight back across again. A little more black. Trying to make parallel straight lines. So that back area also has a little bit that juts down. Just a little. That is the Jet engines coming up the back. Has kind of a, a main little propulsion engine, a little circular one that's like poking out the back. So that's looking like a pretty good silhouette. I'm gonna fill it in.
And then we'll want to throw on some of these, uh, the spires, the antennae. Let's see. Well, Dave, Auntie, I see that you have to go, but let me read your comments in order here. I'm a mostly veggie, but I eat poultry and some fish, no red meats or mammals. Couldn't go vegan, eat cheese and milk hourly and have to have leather belts. Yeah, it's tough, right? And sorry, man, I have to go. Awesomeness painting so far. Have an Oreo happy stream. Thank you, Dave, Auntie. I so appreciate you coming by and making me laugh. And I'll see you on the next one, okay? Um... I'll be streaming Saturday, 1 p.m. Pacific time, Horizon Zero Dawn, Saturday and Mondays. And then, of course, Tomb Raider Tuesdays, uh, we're back We're back on that. So I'll see you around for sure, probably in the Mash Smash chat as well. Thanks. Meow, meow. Okay, I'm back for a while. Perfect. Day of Auntie's leaving. You're coming in. Lovely, lovely. So we've got our Dreadnought ship ready to get some accessorizing done. See, and the nice thing about these little, like, flat square brushes, I'm still only just using this one. Um, if you use them the thin way, they can do a nice thin straight line pretty easily without going to a detail brush. And I just want to, it looks like this top edge needs a little help. That got nice and smoothed out. And then, okay, so it looks like we have two bigger spires right in front of the entrance. And another about here. And then two more before the end. There's a couple coming out the front, just little ones. <laughs> it's been damaged in battle. It's not, not very straight. There, fix it. Then there's a, an antenna that comes right out the bottom here. And two little bottom ones. Uh, there's a couple, so this looks like, well, I'm not sure what they are, but they're a little bit thicker undercarriage bits there there and we'll do one there's one final longish spire right here All right. So far, so good. Not too bad. Give this, whoop, bring it to you up close. I like what it's doing. I like it. Hi, Bobby Demon Lemon. Great. Galarex says, is that another one of those S-Class freighters <laughs> to, to wind to mash up? <laughs> yeah. It's totally an S-Class freighter. Oh, man. We should just put a big S on it. <laughs> I'm not opposed. <laughs> Let's, uh, maybe I can do the little lights in like a little S design. 
maybe maybe a BB BB <laughs> dash S in lights. Uh, it's definitely an S class Galarac. Yeah, Bobby Dean Lemon, boom potato. How are you? Glad you're here. Cool, we're doing a space battle. We're doing a space battle picture today. It's going great. It's been a battle making this painting uh, with hair and paint. Um, so we need a few more ships to have it be an official space battle, right? And let me just go back to that magic within space battle photo. So what do we got here? We got a ball hauler. No, no, no. That's that's one of those clunky explorers. Looks like a few little fighters. And I don't know. That might also be a strange looking explorer. I love this. There are like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, like 19 ships in this picture, you guys. Uh, you can't see all of them in great detail. Yeah, sorry about it. Here, hold on. Those of you who can't stand looking at notifications. <laughs> there. That's better for you. Uh, yeah, so freaking look at all those cool ships flying at you. Solar Sailor, love that dreadnought. Thank you. Yeah, it turned out pretty good. Galarek, when he gets home, you can say, hey, I got me an S-Class. Come and look. <laughs> Great idea, Galarek. Ogre says, lol. Galarek, he'll enjoy that after a long day at work. Scottish Rod says, HZD2. Wait, what? Do you know things I don't know yet? I know that HZD is coming out with uh, another one, but... Is there more information? What are you talking about? Scotch fraud. All right. So let's do a few more ships all up in this business. Um, so let's do... <laughs> I'm thinking we'll need... Let's do a wingless hauler and it can be being destroyed. Yeah? <laughs> uh, so that guy will be, he's going to be, to me, they always look like weird little, like, um, birds. I don't know. They're, they're very stupid looking. To me, to me, I apologize. To anybody who likes these wingless monstrosities. Yeah, that's sort of what they look like, right? Like, like a dog with no legs. <laughs> yes, wreck right, that wingless holler. <laughs> yes, two. Oh, Scott Fraud, this is very exciting. We need trailers. We need pictures. We need all all the links uh, in the Discord if you if you would. Um, <laughs> haters, oh Joker! <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is a joke. All the fun. It's just funny. It's just funny. It's funny. Um. So, I mean, obviously what shot this thing is probably a ball hauler, right? Which will have some balls. Balls and balls. And the thing that connects the balls. Because these are just silhouettes, so I'm really not, uh, <laughs> I don't know. These aren't, these aren't going to look as cool as the Dreadnought. I want this to be kind of the focus, but, um, yeah. So I'm going to do a couple even smaller, just like tiny things that might be ships 
in the background. This looks like an X-Wing. And, um, oh, there's those, uh, there's those kind of, um, they make me think of like, like the headwear from Horizon Zero Dawn, where they have, let's see, they have the fighter nose and a cockpit, but then they've got a wing that comes out and a wing that comes out and a fin and a freaking another wing and another wing. Hey, that turned out cool. Um, Let's see, an explorer. All right, if we were to have an explorer join the mix, they have that little thing, and sometimes they have a little jutting up piece, and then the one in Magic Within's has the ball kind of clunky tubes on the side, so that's that's an explorer. Um, What else? What else? We got a... Um, What other ships should I do, guys? Shielded balls. Bald wing holler. <laughs> but I love ball haulers. Sorry, may not have been the best time to bring it up. Multi-screening, it's just been announced. Oh, dude, please. I love that you brought it up. HCD is one of my freaking favorite games. I mean, <sighs> prior to getting sucked into the universe of NMS, I was building like a fiend in Minecraft. Um, and I still probably will go back to it because I have this whole XP grinder theme park idea that I want to do. Um, I may, if those of you who play Minecraft are interested, I may like see how to open that up and get people in to help if you want. Um, but it's been so long and I'm, I've got so many games to play. Um, but in NMS and uh, priority, Red Dead Online, I'm like obsessed now. Um, I just like feel like I am that character. That character is my alter ego. She gets to kill all the people she wants to. And I would never do that in real life. So I'm going to just sink deep into it in my game life. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, I mean, prior to that, Horizon Zero Dawn was my jam my jam and I've only been wanting more like the story's so good and I can only hope that the the new ones coming out are also gonna have just great storylines and you know uh, yeah I can't wait so yeah yeah rain it on me Scottish Rod balls I freely admit I hate wingless haulers balls but I love balls haulers balls wing haulers shielded balls glowy balls <laughs> Multi-screening? Yeah, it's the new thing. We started it. No, we didn't start it. <laughs> but people need three or four screens to, like, handle all the entertainment we bring. Bug, uh-uh. Oh, he retract. Uh-oh. What did Bobby Demon Lem say? Well, BDO, when a shuttle and a fan hauler really love each other. <laughs> now we kill them. You loot them. <laughs> nice. Nice. Oh, that's right. You guys kill him. I loot him. <laughs> Moose. I don't take all the loot. Do I take all the loot? I mean, I am a posse leader. It's my right, right? No. Um, getting, getting to know more things, too, about this trading table and all that. Um, it's a grind. It's a grind to have to keep up with, with Crips and his business. Sorry, we're getting off track. Uh, what other fighters should I put on here? Is is a is how do I make this look like a shielded ball thing? Maybe it needs it would need the kind of outer casing, right? And then it'll have like a lighter blue uh, surrounding the balls. So I'll go for that. We'll try that. Oh, we should totally put like a Scottish rod ship in here. His fighter with the big long pointy nose. Mm, he should be coming in. He should be coming on hot from the rings.
okay. <laughs> it's okay. Um, you will never know. <laughs> Raza, please. Oh, yes. Good idea. Blue balls. Poor thing. <laughs> yep. All your loot, you be the leader of the pack. Room, room. <laughs> Agreed, Mimio. Okay. Uh, Raza. Get a cute little Raza up in here. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. There he is. <laughs> Here, close up. Raza fighter. <laughs> And we need a couple more, like, insignificant-looking, tiny, tiny little fighter specs. They're so far off in the distance, we barely even know what ship they are. Um, All right, this is actually looking pretty, pretty what I was hoping for. Um, that's like one of those little, little nugget ships. Doesn't have wings. What is it? It's a shuttle. Those little shuttles that look like cigars. That's what that is. Very far away. That looks cool. Thanks for now. Yes, got it right. Why are we talking about balls, Bobby Demon Lemon 2020? Because <laughs> oh, it's part of the ship, Bobby Demon Lemon. All right, and now the thing I'm most nervous about probably is Iron Man. <laughs> um. So Iron Man is also fighting in this space battle, you know, because uh, that's how Endgame ended. Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm a little nervous about um, human body proportions are not my forte. And so we'll see how this turns out, y'all. <clears throat> I think I need a smaller brush. I do think he's going to be, like, closer to us, the viewer of this scene. And so he's going to be pretty big. Um, and I think he's probably he's probably flying in on Scottish Rod's uh, 6 o'clock or 9 o'clock. So I'm thinking, here's Iron Man. His head. Okay, and then here's his body. And then <laughs> uh, he's probably got that cool, like, I'm sitting in the air stance where he's like sort of floating with his jetpack feet. I mean, already he looks way more like Grover from Sesame Street than he does Iron Man. But you know what, guys? If you're a better artist than me, then do Iron Man the way he ought to be done. Don't do him my way. <laughs> my way is very impressionistic. And he's probably shooting. He's shooting from his hands. That's what I'm thinking. Remember what 
happened to Tony the last time he fought in space? Yeah, and he got lost there. And now he's in the universe of NMS. He wound up in Ocean Quaid. I don't know how. <laughs> um, cool. So, <laughs> guys, guys, I'm sorry. I'm not good at superheroes. Um, maybe the title of this should be um, hashtag combat update for magic within. Uh, cause it kind of just more like, looks like an anomaly that fell off of a frigate. <laughs> That's terrible. I'm so sorry. What's with the Corvax and floating in there? Yeah. Right? Corvax, anomaly, supposed to be Iron Man. <laughs> no Iron Man sky. Um, maybe if I sort of gave him a hint of yellow and red, it'll, it'll sort of allude to it. Um, but yeah. <laughs> so I think Tony's um, blasting stuff is like a light blue, as are a couple other things. So I'm just gonna grab some light blue and give him a little glowy chest thing and little rocket boosters. Ay, 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 I hate that, but it'll do. It'll work. It's too wet. That's the problem. Oh, definitely not bright enough anymore. Ha! <laughs> He's shooting! Yeah! Um... All right, all right, it's getting there. Uh, let's see, we need some of this is coming out the back. And this is where the ships enter. So that needs a little bit of a blue glow. And then we need some glowing blue around these balls. Okay, and Then we need a bunch of green jet streams. I'm trying to find the perfect brush. And a good green.
So I've had this little tea green for a while. I'm just going to spruce it up with some apple green. I think that'll be the perfect green. If you're super into the painting thing or you, you're wanting to be, uh, I definitely recommend if you ever come across these tiny little jars things. This was a teeny tiny little jam jar. Um, so perfect for like mixing a color that you might want to keep around and use again. So you definitely want to... Use a very small detail brush. And a nice fluid wrist. Don't don't tighten up. Do, do some exercises like this before you start doing a detail like this. So Scottish Rod is zooming in from the side of the painting over here. So. Fantastic. And I'm going to give it a little bit of a white accent. So it really pops. This guy's going to have, maybe he has three or four thrusters. Looks like three. Turn into three. Give a tiny bit of white on the brush. While that's wet, it kind of blends, so it's not a full white. It's just um, highlighting the green, which is nice. Uh, right, so let's see. This is the hauler that just shot. What color is the, so the positron ejector is like a, like scatter yellow, right? Kind of like buckshot. It's a cute Iron Man. Oh, thanks. <laughs> the Iron Giant has entered the system. <laughs> you look so pretty with your hair down, Maddie. Oh, well, thanks for me out. <laughs> It's crazy how long it's gotten. I wear it up so often that I like forget and I don't brush it all the time either. So when it's brushed and clean and down, I'm like, dang, where'd that come from? Um, it comes from not cutting your hair in almost, well, I haven't cut my hair since my accident. So that was last August. Yeah. Um, so the positron ejector is like a scattered yellow burst, right? Yellow with a little red positron. Gotcha. Okay, that's the positron. And then the regular um, cannon is just the blue pulses. What do you think? What do you think this ball hauler used to shoot down this wingless hauler? Positron? Or regular? Probably Positron. Little Raza coming in from the bottom. So cute. Yeah, Positron Ejector. Awesome. Okay, cool. So so I'm going to guess this uh, ball hauler probably just like what he did is swooping. He swooped in and then, and then like leveled out to watch his glorious, uh, glorious victory. 
So let's let's have his little green come um, from down here. Sometimes I like to give myself sound effects while I'm painting. It totally helps. <laughs> okay. So he's swooping in and he's done a bunch of damage. So I've got some yellow here. And might need a tiny bit of red. And then I need to make a bit of a gray. Sorry guys, sorry about moving the camera. I gotta figure out this setup a little better. Uh, but yeah, this uh, gray is to <laughs> get some smoke coming off of this wingless hauler here. So, he's just in a cloud of trouble. And his cargo's popped out, right? I forgot about that. So let's give him a little bits of goodies that have come out of his butt. And let's get those the damage. I mean, because you never you never stop shooting right after you actually hit your target, right? You gotta get a couple in there for good measure. So coming from this guy, he's got some speckles. So I'm actually using the stem end of the brush to just make some little clusters of positron particles. <laughs> it looks awesome. And I'll do a little tiny hints of red as well. <laughs> that makes me very happy. I'm going to uh, show you guys that up close. Do I need that again? Mm, probably. Um, okay. <laughs> what do you guys think? Yeah, Positron Ejector! <laughs> Love it. It's pretty great. Okay, so we've got just a little bit more to do. Finishing off our um, uh, jet streams from all these other ships. I'm trying to make it look like, you know, they're moving. They're ebbing and flowing all the different directions, so.
uh, his little engines just sputtering out there. Cool, so all of our uh, green jet streams are going good. I don't think I missed anybody. And I wanted to do just a little bit of lighting on the dreadnought itself. So, I'm gonna be using the stems of a brush again. And I'll use that red and yellow that we use for the positron injectors. And it just seems like kind of there's lights along, you know, the edges. Of the freighter. And a little All right, pretty much done. I just accidentally put a little bit of green where it didn't need to go. And so super quick, I'm just gonna put one more little ship on here. Not sure what kind of ship that is, but It'll do. Okay, cool. And I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell, but that dreadnought is definitely an S class. <laughs> ah. 
looking awesome, Maddie. Hey, painting one of my photos again. Well, definitely um, use one of your photos as inspiration, though Galarak and uh, Dimash played a hand as well. This is our no man, no Iron Man sky painting. This is Iron Man there. Uh, actually, you know, I was gonna give him, let's give him a little bit more love. Why do I hear running water? I'm not sure I saw all the chat. It's a cute Iron Man. Iron Man, okay. Yellow with a little pressure. I did see all that. Okay, looking awesome. Thanks. I, I didn't skip any. That's great. Why do I hear running water? You know, it's not running water. You may hear I have the computer's fan makes a noise. That could be part of it. And there's also an air conditioner right outside this window. <laughs> Not the most premium of streaming circumstances, but you know, whatever. We're doing with what we got uh, for now. You live with Madfish Joker. Might be my tub magic. <laughs> no, he does not live with me. <laughs> uh, AKA Patrice Marie. Nice. Oh, hi, Mythic. Good to see you. Thumbs up, satellite space man. <laughs> Joker, definitely not. That's brilliant. Are you mocking me? I'm not mocking you, Scottish Rod. It's, it's fun. It's all jokes, right? All in good jokes. Um, Let's see. Iron Man, he kind of mostly has got reddish tones on, like his helmet here and there. And I'm just, I'm going to get it totally wrong, probably. Um... We'll just give him some armor that alludes to the idea that he is indeed Iron Man, which means red and yellow. Those are his colors, really. And so there's that, and we can give him some yellow. I might even give him, do I have gold? Oh, I have gold. He's, he's not a 49ers fan. He's Iron Man. Ooh. Oh, you guys. Metallic paints are so pretty and fun to paint with. Um, so, yeah, we'll just give his... He's got, like, his visor might be gold, right? That's what I'm thinking. His visor is gold. He's like an anomalous Iron Man. He's anomaly Iron Man. It's Iron Man. <laughs> Hi, Jeff is pure fair Iron Man. <laughs> awesome. Joker, who's saying bye? Oh, Bobby's leaving. I'm going to go now. Love y'all. Smoosh that like. Have a good stream. Thanks, Bobby. Well, hey, we're almost ending off here anyway. So good timing. Um, Hi, Jeff is bad timing. <laughs> we're pretty much done, guys. Um, we did a crazy space battle scene today with a little bit of humor because it's the no Iron Man sky uh, 
painting today from a silly hiccup that Dimash had one night. And Galarak was just fingers crossed hoping I would do this. Um, and so if you look closely, we've got a couple of little, little jokes in here. We've got Iron Man it, taking part in the space battle, hashtag combat update. And uh, our ball hauler over here taking out the wingless hauler <laughs> with the positron injector. <laughs> and, uh, and then our um, S-class, uh, <laughs> the S-class dreadnought freighter, <laughs> which might be my favorite part. I don't know. I think Deavanti's favorite part probably will still be the uh, dragon head in the nebula that if you squint, you might see a dragon too. Um, altogether, a successful painting. It feels a bit barren up here, I'm thinking. But I'm also not trying to make that the star of the show. These, these are the star of the show, right? It's pretty good. Pretty awesome. Uh, if the dragon head wasn't there, I might go ahead and put something else up there. Like, you know, maybe the bottom of the uh, of space and nom could come in from the top. Um, but I'm going to leave this one alone for now. Sometimes you just got to stop painting a painting and then come back to it. Um, you know, nothing's, nothing's really over till the end. So, <laughs> and in art, you get to, uh, you get to decide. So I'm super happy with how this turned out. I don't know if the studio setup is going to stay the same. We might change it up for next time as well. But um, thank you all for being here. I super appreciate you. And um, we'll look forward to next time. So Thursdays at 1 o'clock, I do my painting streams, 1 p.m. Pacific time. And if you hop into my Discord and want to post some pictures for inspiration, uh, you never know what might inspire me. So I hope you are inspired and that, you know, if you don't have acrylics at home, you can join me with whatever you have. Um, but I do say, you know, if you ever wanted to try it, it's not that tough and it's super fun. So do it, do it, set it up, get an easel, do something, uh, just get some art paper, whatever the first step is for you, go for it. I'm just going to catch up with the comments before I completely say bye. Hashtag bring back Heridium. That takes me back magic. Magic says, hashtag comment update. Jeff says, oh. Memo says, I see it. You saw the dragon. Excellent. Oreo-shaped asteroids. <laughs> Jeff is amazing. Uh, Joker says, awesome, Maddie. Love watching these. Thanks, Joker. I so appreciate you being here. And Magic, I came in late. I was moving out of my college dorm all day. Ugh. Well, I hope that's over and you get a good break. Um, moving sucks. I've uh, had a lot of it in the last year. The dragon looks more like an eagle to me. Well, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, excellent. What is, what, what, when do I see you guys next? I think it's not till tomorrow morning. Dimash has his new survival stream at 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. Um, so I'll see you guys in the chat tomorrow morning. Okay. Or on Red Dead, maybe. Later. Um, I, I just got to get my dailies in, you know? You know? Anywho. Heridium man. Thanks again and be well. Take care. Stay safe. Keep laughing. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.